Hi, my name's Chuck Ciccarelli, founder of In The Ditch Towing Products. In The Ditch was founded out of a need within our industry to try to make things better. One of the first things that we looked at, based on my experience of, of owning my own towing company for 15 years, as well as being a rec master instructor, was we needed to improve dollies. Um, dolly design really hasn't changed much in the last 15 or 20 years. There hasn't been any improvements to it. So me and my crew, we set out uh, to design a better dolly. And the speed dolly is the result of that. Some of the key points that we focused on was safety. We needed a safe dolly. We needed a dolly that was balanced and easy to handle and easy to carry. We wanted an ergonomic design. We thought it was important that we had a design that was easy on an operator's back. And maintenance, we wanted a dolly that, uh, that didn't require a lot of maintenance. We got rid of moving parts. Existing designs have upwards of 10 moving parts. We've cut that down now to just four moving parts, the cam lock, the axle. We got this thing down to two grease circs, one there and one there. When it came to safety, one of the things that we felt we needed to do was to get rid of the ratcheting mechanism. Uh, those of you that have used dollies know that with the ratcheting mechanism, the springs get lost and the, uh, with calcium chloride, it disintegrates springs and things rust and freeze shut and they don't work anymore. So what we did is we designed a cam lock system. Just wheel the dolly frame into place, release both cam locks, Lean the dolly back, slide it forward, place the axle in to the axle cradle location that best fits for the tire side. You want to make sure that the dolly's parallel with the tire so that it doesn't run crooked. Re-engage the cam lock pins and then as you put your brake over bar in, the dolly comes around. You hear the cam lock engage. You can visually notice that it's engaged and you can also hear an audible click. And voila, that's it. It just works over and over and over. We include two ratchet straps and an operations manual with each set of speed dollies. We designed a dolly that has a patented cam over design. As the tire comes through the arc, it swings past center. So when you go to unload our dolly, you disengage the cam lock and put the brake over bar in and you can use both hands to gently lower the vehicle to the ground. In order for this tire to kick out of here, the vehicle has to go up first and so this makes us a safer design. We designed this so that it would lift higher. We also put um, ratchet tie down spots in here so that when you secure the dolly to the car, you can put your ratchet strap around the tire and they secure in these handhelds right here. Another big thing, if you notice, a lot of the, the early day dollies, they didn't lock in the up position. So what would happen is you would go to, you'd go to pick them up and one would flip over and they were just always flopping around on you. And what we did is we designed we designed it to lock the wheels so that when you're down like that, the wheels are in the lock position. So when you pick them up and walk, they're not gonna get away from you. And then it also allows you to be able to walk the dolly. The speed dolly axle made by In The Ditch has some pretty neat features. We have four adjustment holes allowing you a better option at different widths of vehicles. We put a domed zinc plated engagement pin in so you don't have to take a pin or something to dip to uh, depress the plunger pin. With this dome pin, it makes it very easy to depress and slide it. We have a custom extrusion done which creates a rounded corner, makes the axle easy to hold. But the main reason that we did it is if you engage the plunger pin and you just rotate the axle just a little bit and then you can slide it past all of the adjustment holes. It's robotically welded, giving you consistent, repeatable welds time after time. We put a lot of thought into the breakover bar. It's made from hollow tubing with a solid steel billet piece at the bottom and a foam grip, making this bar only seven pounds. One of the situations a tower will find himself in when trying to dolly a vehicle is that the vehicle is up against a wall. And the problem with that is if you try to load the dolly in the normal fashion as you come through, the arc, the bar hits the wall, so you can't 
lift the vehicle. With the speed dolly, we've overcome that. All you need to do is engage your cam lock, and instead of going down with the tire, go up. Listen for the audible click, and look for the visual indicator that the cam lock's engaged. Do the back one, but this time go all the way down like you normally would. Pull the vehicle forward with the tow truck, away from the wall. Then install the bar, release the cam lock, lower the vehicle, re-engage the cam lock, rotate the bar all the way around. Now that you've gotten to this point, install the front ratchet straps that tie down to the dolly. Put the vehicle in neutral, secure the steering wheel, install tow lights, secondary attachment chains, follow the manufacturer's recommended towing procedure for the vehicle. Our position on the dolly is pure and simple. We put our money where our mouth is and we give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. People's lives depend on us using dollies in a proper manner.